Hello friends, uh, welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube video series. So we all know in this playlist, right, we are purely uh, discussing about AWS and DevOps uh, job, uh, jobs opportunity. Uh, this is video number four. Uh, if anyone wanted to know in the playlist, wanted to see the previous videos, the description, I'll give the link. Okay, video one, two, three, go ahead and have a look on it. So you will understand better. All right. So fine, guys. So thank you for watching the video and supporting us. Uh, so uh, please like and subscribe our channel. The main reason why I started this playlist, right? Whenever I meet people, okay, those who are already working in AWS or other people, they, they are telling, hey, Harry, I have updated my Nakuri profile, my LinkedIn profile, everything properly, but still I am not receiving the call, Harry. What could be the reason? Okay. And what kind of AWS jobs, right, I can go for? Why? Because when I join a company, if I get an offer during the, before joining to the company, they are telling so many things. But after I joined, right, it's totally different from my previous career and previous experience. I'm into a new, you know, uh, domain and technology. So what happens, right? That that is something, you know. After I joined to the company, I can't do anything. At least I need to survive for one year or two years. So what what these kind of issues, right? How can we overcome? So also that part going to cover in this particular video, all right. And I'll also going to tell you in this video how we can choose our job before go for applying it. Okay. So let me uh, quickly switch over to my tab. Give me a sec. All right. So this is my uh, Nakuri profile, which I created for this playlist. Uh, I've already, you know, discussed many things uh, about the updating Nakuri profile. Based on updating your Nakuri profile only, the recruiters are calling you. Okay. Today, uh, I'm mainly going to highlight many of them complaining about, hey, Harry, I'm not getting a call, man. So you are simply telling from Nakuri, I'll get so many calls. From LinkedIn, I'm getting so many calls. So what are the main thing I need to highlight? Okay. Since we have completed many stuff in last three videos, in this fourth video, right, I'm going to tell you about the career profile. So when the recruiters are searching for your profile, uh, it should be highlighted. It should be comes in the top right. By the way, uh, you need to mention the current industry is IT services and consulting. That is very important because lots of recruiters searching basis of they'll have some filters. Nakuri uh, for the consultancy team and the recruiter team, right? They'll be paying Nakuri to get the profiles actually. For candidate and associate like us, we'll be getting a free profiles. Even we have some premium options in Nakuri. That's fine. But anyway, the recruiter will paying a, a Nakuri, they'll get a profile. Here they will filter on the category like uh, current industries, IT and uh, services and consulting department, customer success services and operations, job role, technical support and uh, voice and uh, you know, uh, blended and the role category you can provide this desired job capacity permanent full time okay preferred work location this is purely up to you chennai bangalore so in these two areas right you will get lots of job opportunities okay if you are not at all getting a job uh, ensure to prefer this location and the daytime and the expected salary whatever the expected salary you have right you can make it uh, so uh, about the expected salary how much salary we can ask regarding that right I am preparing a separate uh, play. I'm going to prepare a separate video. Whoever need uh, salary expectation, salary discussion video, please mention in the comment section based on your response, right? I'll make a separate video. All right. So again, so when make sure you are selecting this exact same keyword in your uh, Nakuri profile as well, uh, because based on my experience, I'm telling uh, last, you know, uh, for this video, I have made this all these changes in my profile for making this playlist. After changing all this category, that I'm daily basis, I am at least I'm getting one call weekly, right? And on average, I'm getting two calls. Okay, that is what average in less less case I'm seeing it. So I'm recommending all of you to go and update your profile in this way. Uh, you can definitely know you will get expect a call from the recruiter. Okay, fine. In the second half of today's session, I'm gonna discuss and review two jobs actually today. Okay, this job is something like you know consulting. Uh, you know, experienced DevOps transmission by people with expertise. Some they have given, they have their own profile, I believe. So, you know, uh, New D Global, uh, they are having a requirement of AWS DevOps engineer. Uh, they have, uh, you know, seeking for the candidate who has four to eight years of experience. They are ready to pay uh, 13 lakhs to 23 lakhs per annum. Okay, the job location would be Chennai. If you're ready, you can apply it. That's what I do. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly you know, informing you people. Don't go and blindly apply this. Okay, before you go, you need to just uh, uh, look into the skill set and the responsibility what you will get it in the project. If that is really matching to your uh, expectation and profile, only then you'll go for and applying this job. First thing always I recommend, uh, go ahead and check when they have posted, four days ago. If they have posted very long back, right, even though they apply, there is no use of it. 
okay and you can even check uh, two openings only available as of now so there are 900 of people are applied for this job there are huge demand for this job since they paid you know somewhere around uh, packages somewhat you know really good i believe that is the reason for eight years candidate right 23 maximum package of course you won't get 23 as they mentioned here somehow some few lakhs you will get less only but however uh, for this uh, year of experience this is a reasonable space uh, structure only okay so coming over here job views there are these many people view that doesn't matter at all so coming to the job description see main skill they are purely looking for a aws candidate you should be uh, good in aws services such as iam ec2 s3 vpc cloudwatch cloud trail sns glacier aws organization service route 53 you know kms uh, you know eks such services if you have a knowledge right this is really recommended for your profile straight away and coming to the terraform okay coming to the terraform uh this is purely into uh, infrastructure as a code by the way okay purely for infrastructure as a code so they have uh, you know implementing uh, terraform uh for building their infrastructure i believe they use terraform and jenkins they use as for ci cd if you have a knowledge in jenkins that's added benefit uh, to build the uh, ci cd pipeline you know integrating jenkins with the git why because they have given git i believe they use they manage the source code into their git repository uh, so strongly no you need to have a groovy knowledge as well having that you can demand for 23 lakhs of salary annum okay and docker and ansible okay this gives you a uh, container uh, all your application you can deploy on top of a container you can manage it and finally ansible configuration management tool they use ansible to manage their vm and their infrastructure i believe okay this is the main skill if we have all these aws services terraform jenkins docker ansible git all these six uh, main keywords in your profile right definitely you can ask for a higher salary whatever the budget they are given okay some company is not giving the budget but this company is very transparent i believe so directly they're given a budget so when they ask for expectation of your salary you can straight away you can go and tell them in such way all right coming to your responsibility okay create jenkins pipelines for the deployment of aws infrastructure so you need to uh, have a strong knowledge uh, by the way by integrating terraform you need to have a knowledge on Jenkins pipeline, whether I believe the Jenkins pipeline will trigger the Terraform. Terraform will provision the deployment part of my AWS infrastructure. Uh, most of them doing in such way. I believe this organization, this project also doing and following the same pattern, I believe. Container-based application. Yeah, of course, they don't use any easy to instances, I believe. They will have a, uh, applications all deployed on top of the containers. So prefer to have a container knowledge as well. Okay. Other scheduled automation task, integrating pipeline with the client, uh, security scanning tool, and change management process. Okay. Uh, as of now, stop this change management process. We'll go up to this scheduled automation task. Okay. Which means uh, one week, one this script have to run. Okay. One month, one this script have to run. Likewise, you have any automation which is runs based on the cron scheduler. That is more preferable. And integrated pipeline with the client security scanning tool. So, like, you know, there are many tools are available as of today. Okay. So you can go ahead, you can integrate that that uh, security scanning tool, right? Will uh, evaluate your code, uh, it's review your code, it's analyze your code, is there any bug available in your code, it will pinpoint everything, right? So that way, uh, that kind of security scanning tool you have, no, that is added benefit and change management process. You should know how the change requests are being raised, okay, how the uh, access in the change has been completing, how the schedule changes work, how we will get the uh, authorization and approving of the change request, cap call, change advisory board call, and you know, SDM manager getting the approval from them, change delivery group, okay. All the process, if you know, right, that is really recommended for you. So when you definitely apply for this job, when you get a call back from the HR or the technical discussion, when they ask about uh, telling about yourself, right, you need to tell them, you need to include all these points. So I worked on AWS services, Terraform, Jenkins, Deployment, the Docker, Ansible, Git, everything. Followed by I works uh, our infrastructure now, purely deployed through Terraform using Jenkins pipeline. We use container-based application. We do have other scheduled uh, automation task as well. So we have integrated pipelines. Okay, uh, for, we have a security scanning tool as well. So we all also follow the change management process. This is our change management process. Just before I explained it, you need to explain in that way. And I have automation script using a bash and the python if you know boto3 that is the daily benefited so you can integrate boto3 with uh, python you can explain to it so if you have a bash i don't think so there are huge people available for bash but if you're having it that's fine because personally i don't know bash i'm i'm good in python boto3 anyway uh, this role going to be devops engineer salary as they mentioned here industry it services and consulting maybe uh, you can see 
this current category it services and consulting all right that is what i said in the you know uh, this section you need to mention it services and consulting so uh, department right engineering and software and qa role is all about uh, devops full time that's fine uh, these are the key skill jenkins seraphim aws this is the highlighted one any degree uh, it's preferred uh, company profile newlet global you can go and review the company profile so i cannot review it now i'll get the copyright issue so <laughs> go ahead you guys can review it by your own all right so if everything is matching as per your requirement and also if everything uh, meets your expectation uh, and your current knowledge level everything is fine with that only then you need to apply for this job okay so when you apply for this job right the process is all about you will get a call from the hr most probably or email from the hr they will ask your updated profile okay when you are giving updated profile right uh, this main uh, skill and the responsibility whatever mentioned here right you need to update all this information on your profile you need to give them that gives you a good impression by the way and when you are giving self introduction if you you know connect all these dots during your self introduction that's also give you a good impression to the candidate sorry uh, interviewer by the way all right hope this is something useful to you if you need a similar review of any other job profile uh, any other you know roles and responsibility detailed scanning uh, kindly you know mention that in the comment section i'll prepare a video in such way so also please subscribe our channel because there are lot many video right i'm planning to make your subscribe will boost me uh, your like and comment right will boost me again so you are hardly going to press a like simple kindly do that and share with your friends it will be roughly useful for them okay thank you for watching this video we'll meet you on next video thank you bye bye